historically New Zealand has been so forward thinking um, in women's rights, but I think today we aren't doing as well as we could be. My name is Anna Gunther and I'm the Chief Bubble Lower of PledgeMe, which is a Kiwi crowdfunding platform. My name's Rebecca Mills, I'm a sustainability strategist. So what that practically means is I work with entrepreneurs and business leaders to create the best outcomes for people, the planet, as well as profit. I think in today's um, world there is still a, a very large uh, under-representation of females in the tech space. And certainly if you go along to any tech conferences you, you really feel it. I'm Frances Valentine and I am the founder of the Mind Lab by Unitech, an interdisciplinary lab here in Auckland, New Zealand. Encouragement needs to start at a young age. If there's a role model there that someone can look up to, you know, and if this role model is a female heroin that girls or women can identify with, then this is encouragement for them to not only just like the story or the heroine, but her journey as well. My name is Maru Nihoniho. I'm the managing director of my games company, Meteor Interactive. I'm also the games producer and designer within my business. Well, I think that there is three critical ingredients for female entrepreneurs to thrive and they are good access to networks, good access to role models, and good access to the ability for them to see that they can be all that they want to be. The more of those role models we have who are female, the more we'll see young females becoming entrepreneurs themselves, and perhaps not going into traditional uh, higher education, but saying actually I'll take a risk and I'll start a business and, and do some good. All of our large campaigns have been run by female uh, creators. So one of my favourite campaigns was the Superpower Baby Project, which was run by a woman named Rachel Callender, a photographer down in Timaru. She wanted to raise money to go around the country taking pictures of kids with genetic conditions and sort of change the conversation from disabilities into different abilities. And she did such an amazing job in 30 days. She raised over $80,000 um, and managed to go all around the country taking pictures of these kids. I remember when I attended my first game conference and I was only one of a few women at the, the games conference and there must have been about a thousand people there and 990 of them were male and knowing that it was a male dominated industry and feeling awkward whenever I did attend events like that didn't stop me. It just made me think more creatively. Well I think in navigating these circles it's important to be grounded and brave um, and you need to be both of those things if you're going to be truly present and engage in the conversations and give the most value. We all make contributions to our world, we all have the same capacity to get up in the morning and make a difference. And I always find it as the neighbour next door or it's the person down the road or the kid who does something remarkable in their school who really inspire me and actually sometimes they are the people who keep me really focused because I realise that sometimes the people who've got extraordinary things working against them actually just step up and actually make a difference themselves. I think the one thing that New Zealand could do to get more women into entrepreneurship would be to promote more examples of women rocking out in the space so there's more uh, role models that we can try to be like because I think in order to be something you have to be able to see it first. I think there's one very simple thing that New Zealand could do in the next few years to encourage more women to go into entrepreneurship and that's to tell the stories of the woman who have already done this and who are leading successful lives and successful lives in a holistic sense. It's really important for females to find other like-minded females who actually support their ideas. And these don't necessarily have to be people who understand what someone does, but actually having that person who can go to and say, this is what I'm thinking, what do you think? And you know they're going to come and support you. And it could be just the emotional support, it could be just saying, yeah, it's a sounding board, but also as a connected to other people. The best advice I have for female entrepreneurs is to start with where you are, do what you can and use what you have. The number one thing I'll tell people is just do it. In fact that's the, the meaning of my company's name, Metia, is to do it or to go and do it. Mm -hmm.